Last time on Mass Effect, Commander Shepard once again gave the Mercs of the Terminus a black eye, taking down Eclipse Mercs that had captured a refinery, then shutting down a blood pack mining operation. With the Mercs and the Cluster on the back foot, Shepard returned to Ilium to recruit the Asari Justicar, Samara. Returning to Nosastra, Shepard ran into Shiala, the Asari who previously worked with the rogue Spectre Saren and was sacrificed by him to be consumed by the Thorian on Pharos. Shiala remained on Zeus Hope to assist the colony, and the commander helped her out with an issue. Shepard then proceeded to speak with tracking officer Dara about the whereabouts of Samara. Worried that she had killed someone, Shepard quelled her fears. Knowing where Samara was, the commander proceeded to the commercial spaceport of Nosostra. Upon landing in the area, Shepard spoke with a detective Anaya regarding Samara. Anaya's superiors want her to arrest the Justicar, but not wanting to die, she is putting the order off for as long as possible. Finding the Asari warrior battling Eclipse Mercs, Shepard joined the fray. After the firefight, Samara said she was tracking a dangerous criminal, and before she could continue her investigation, Anaya detained her. Needing Samara's help with his mission, Shepard offered to assist her in her investigation. Battling his way through Eclipse Sisters, he finally found the information Samara needed. With Samara recruited, Shepard proceeded to help Liara with a small problem. Alright everyone, welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm going to switch over to Xbox controller for uh, this episode, see how things roll. Uh, it's what I always used to play it on, and I may be a bit better, who knows. But, uh, I mentioned it in a comment in the previous episode I just uploaded, part 11, and I want to apologize for not being able to upload as frequently as I normally do. Uh, I've been real busy with a lot of work shit, and then I... Uh, decided to spend <clears throat> like quality time with the wife and stuff nieces nephews aunts and uncles all that shit so but we're back and I got a new badass work schedule I only work Tuesday through Thursday those are 12 hour days mind you which is plenty of hours for me but I get plenty of time to do this with y'all and I think with all my newfound free time, I'm going to start a new playthrough side by side with Mass Effect of Empire at War uh, and play the Awakening of the Rebellion mod since I just had a pretty hefty update not too long ago. And that'll be fun. As for now. Let's see, you want to talk, Kelly? I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. Oh, I don't know. Good guys are pretty nice, too. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. All right. Let's see... Today... We're going to give Liara the intel. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start the Lair of the Shadow Broker. I love this one. And let's bring... Garrus... And... Tally. Familiar faces for Liara. There you go. Excuse me, my sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. You too, bro. Alright. Renegade. 
That's it. Hey, cheapskates. Okay. Go up to Liar's office real quick. How can you short sell on free bats after these human colony attacks? There Very few quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it. And they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Why? Let's see. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. If you'd feel... They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Alright, let's go. Hungry? Then come to the fish dog food shack. The fish dog food shack. Alright. Get to that taxi terminal and then head on over to Liara's apartment and then kick some shadow broker ass this will be fun damn doors don't open fast enough for my taste alright Maybe it's because you had Okay, listen, give Thax a full refund. Do you hear me? He knows. I don't know how. It doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now. And then get your ass someplace safe. Open your mouth when you speak. That's rude. Alright, Liara. Fish Dog Food Shack. God, I love this DLC. You know, actually, we'll bring Garrus and Samara. Let's get another biotic. Two assault rifles, or three assault rifles total. Sapiens, Kaido. Hmm. Sorry, Matriarch. Yeah, do that one. Yeah. 
Any other points? Uh, fuck it. I'll put it right here. Alright, how are we looking? Get your incisor. That so don't look good. Get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end. Switching to a coded relay. What's going on? This area is sealed off. Please step back, sir. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. Hmm. Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. You're one of our most famous operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tissoni. Note the bullet holes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. If Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. It looks like Tissoni got away. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid. But clever. Hmm. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. Alright, let's have a quick look-see. The rifle used to do that wasn't standard issue. The kinetic barrier deflected the shots, but it still managed to penetrate the glass. It's part of my old armor. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. Nope. A doctorate from the University of Ceres, Alambesia. She's getting good use out of all that education. Yeah, she is. Hmm. Maybe upstairs. changed when you touched it. It must be key to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. Those things must be worth a fortune. They just look like rocks. <laughs> I don't see the uh, the appeal. She was certainly into ugly. No offense. You're kind of a bitch. Vasir, I've got something here. Backup disc. Let's try it on her terminal. It looks goofy. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sigat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, Tassoni, you're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Broker's people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. Let's go. The 
Barrier Frontiers offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Liara's in there! Fuck. 9-11 all over again. They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. Just leave some for me. to controller again so right bumper is going to be shockwave left <clears throat> barrier then why is charge was it a bomb what happened well obviously it was a bomb come on what we got over here here. Oh. The elevators are out and building security is down. No alarms, no police. Serving industry for over 120 years. Mm. Very a frontier employee. Looks like he got caught in the explosion. I wouldn't take any bets on Sony's informant surviving that blast. He might. Hold on, man. Let me... Uh... Probably controls. There we go. Bit, bit faster. Snag the dead dude's money real quick. Let's move on. ATM. This has got to be illegal. I doubt Shepard's concerned with illegal. Where you at? Green, orange, white. Boom. Alright, let's move on. Barrier Frontiers, we're here. Here. I'm at the Barrier Frontier's office. We are assigned in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. Let us be your guide. Oh! Contacts! Hostile. Vasir, I pinned down. Mercs, and they're well armed. Say hello to the Shadow Broker's private army, Commander. Good shit, Garrus. Let's move up. Whoa. Keep going. Come on. Heavy barriers up. Gotta take out that missile in the back. Get out of the way, guy. Let's keep moving. Gotta go fast. Gotta save Liawa. You do that, Garrus. Hell yeah, mow through three of them. Come on, poke your damn head up. Whoa! Alright, let's keep moving. Man, 
Steam Summer Sale got me. I dropped like a hundred bucks and bought twenty, not twenty, like ten games. I got the uh, Middle Earth. These damaged pipes are on fire. They're blocking the stairs. Look for a switch to activate the fire suppression systems. Got it. Should be clear now. Good. I'm on my way down. So, like I was saying, I got the Middle Earth series for eight dollars. All the DLC, both games. Uh, because I heard that uh, Ghost of Tsushima might be coming to PC and in the event that it does I'm gonna fucking buy it faster than hell cause man I love that game never played it but it looks so good I've, I don't know Samurai Sims who doesn't like that? It it's just phenomenal. Words don't words don't express. All right, let's go. Well, fuck. Seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Is this a cat? Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Uh, speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Hey! Liara. This is Vasir. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. So what? You were just using me to find the message? Nothing personal, Shepard. Just needed a little help talking about me. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood bitch! Ah, what an asshole. Get him! Go, Shepard. Kick her in the face. I wish biotics were real. <laughs> Hell yeah, Liara's biotics got strong. Move. Alright. Boom. Alright, let's get going. Gotta catch up to Liara. Can't let anything happen to my, my precious Liara. Sally Trixie's Shadow Brokers. Alright. Barrier up. Oh. Alright. Let's get going. Right through here. This is a scene right out of the fucking naked gun. <laughs> they're like that scene where they're taking cover behind two trash cans like four feet from each other and just pew, pew, pew. Oh, it cracks me up. I'm fine. 
fine, by the way. I Thanks think, for asking. I think that was a naked gun. Come on, Garrus. Oh, this is very fun. Unique. There she is. Let's go. I'm right. No wait left. I'm on her. Hang left. Come on, Liara. I see her. You don't have to be a backseat driver. She's around the corner. We're not going into the construction site, are? Huh? Oh, goddess. Oh, shit! Hurry, Shepard Rogue. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Come on. Gotta go, catch go, her. Go, 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 oh! I'm going. Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. <laughs> Whoa! She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. I don't know why I keep running into shit. She's got reinforcements. What kind of guns does this thing have? <laughs> it's a taxi. It has a fair meter. Wonderful. What kind of guns does Truck. this? Not everything has guns. Man, like fucking forty go. people probably died. This. And we're probably going a couple hundred miles per hour. And those dudes are just sitting on the back. Yeah, I hear those can be bad for you. Oh, that's more than a truck. That's a Kowloon class freighter. What up, ho? Get down there, Shep. Now, why'd you go and shoot that I poor thing? Get me some damn backup. Watch out. They're dropping rear. There's Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. Watch out. They're dropping reinforcements in to slow us down. They blocked the All right. door. <clears throat> Watch out, flash them. Whoa. Oh shit, Liara, we gotta We gotta fix that issue. Wide singularity. Hmm. Controller. Uh, we'll map warp and then overload. Hmm. Firing. Hostile. What's over here? I saw something. Oh, bank terminal. All right. Oh my god. Fuck. I got stuck. <laughs> Couldn't move. Come on, she can't have gotten far. 
Did I do I have to level you up again? Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Wide. Watch out. They're dropping reinforcements in to slow us down. Scratch one! Nice shot, Garrus. Holy cow, did y'all see that? Enemy combat drone. Damn, Salarian! Watch out, flashbangs! It's like shooting skeet. I'm on the target. Okay. Yeah. All right, he's down and he's down. All right, who's next? Nice shot. Don't waste your abilities. Good shit, everyone. Damn good. Okay. One more, right? Oh! Just ruined someone's day. That's why you gotta yield when pulling into a parking lot. Okay. Okay, let's see. Boom, boom. Six thousand, not too bad. Hey, we're unarmed. We didn't see anything. <laughs> what kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. So did I. Hey, hey! This looks interesting. Hey, damage protection. Man, just cut through the security here. Poor bastards. She's lost a lot of blood. Hell yeah. Be getting close. She's tough. We'll give her that much. She's a specter. Damn. Just mowed through these people. Understood. I have your back. Anything else we can nab while we're here? 2500. Man, look at that steady drip. Vizier, it's over. Hey, hey you. Come here. What's your name? Hey. 
Hey, hey, you! Very unattractive. M Mariana. Mariana, you want to live, don't you? Tell those people that you want to live. Please. We'll get you out of here safely, Mariana. Well, that's good to hear. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. Scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Fazir. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? Thermoclips on the ground now. Power cells too. Is that it? What? Vasir, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I personally destroyed the last Rachni Queen. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're bluffing. Now, Liara. <laughs> hey, got him. Light her up. Come on. Keep hitting her. Everything you got. Time. Combat drones. Oh, damn, they got shields. Miss me? Oh, I can't say I did really. Light her up. Oh, come on. If you can't do it, what makes you think some little drones can? Hit it, Garrus. Come on, come do it. I'm on it. It's a tough ho. Come on, poke your head up. <laughs> Good shit, Liara. You got it. Send her flying. Oh, damn it. Damn it. The cat's personal data pad. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the Council to work for him? You think I betrayed the Council? Like Saren? Go to hell. 
The broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Tell yourself whatever you like. The Council would never accept you working for the Shadow Broker. The Council? You pay them lip service while working for terrorists? You have any idea what Cerberus has done? I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You want to judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps. Hell, your own unit on a coos. And you're with them. Don't you dare judge me. Oh, don't you? She's got a point. Eliminate the Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. The Seer's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Vizier before long. If he decides to kill him. We'll get Farron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help. Just like always. That's not a good thing? When we first met on Theron, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again. And I'm still leaning on you for help. That's what friends do, Liara. <laughs> Come on, I man. I can get us there based on Sakat's data. The Normandy stealth drive will keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. That's a little cold. They killed innocent people. You know what I mean. Do I? When I hit the ground back at the Trade Center, you went after Vizier without a backward look. A little fall wasn't going to kill you. I had to stay on Vizier. I had to stay rational, make the call, like I did with Sakat. That's Vizier's fault, not yours. Sakat had no idea what the stakes were. I put him in harm's way to get the data I needed. I got him killed. And I'd do it again. But from here on out, things will be simple. Get in, get Farron, get out. And kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. Will you just stop for a second? We'll be jumping several light years. There's time to talk. About what? About us. Shepard, listen, I'm glad you're here. Are you worried there might be terminals you need me to hack? That's not fair. You were dead. I came back. It's not that easy. You can't just come back and have two years of mourning suddenly vanish. I'm sorry, Shepard. I can't get into this. For now, let's just focus on getting Farron back. Fine. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Uh, I guess she's got a point there, Shep. All right. Um, who do I want to bring? Let's bring our big boy, Grunt. Need some heavy firepower. Shadow Broker's got such a cool fucking ship. Very unique. Hagalas. The oceans boil during the day, then snap freeze ten minutes after sundown. The Shadow Broker lives in mist? His ship follows the sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle bay is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. We can't stay outside for long. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. Looks like a welcoming planet. Alright, go, go, go!
to miss lightning, but I'm picking up signals from a communications array near the back of the ship. There's nothing below but maintenance equipment. We have to find an entrance near the back shielding. Why are they attacking? They must think we're debris from the storm. Silly drones. How does something even? <clears throat> how does something like that even like? I don't know. It's like a hologram, but it's solid. I don't understand it. It's cool though. Careful. Those capacitors discharge built-up lightning. Thanks for the tip. Shepard, try firing at the capacitors. <laughs> Zap. Awesome. Let's keep going. I'd like to get off this damn thing as soon as possible. Alright, keep going. Open up the way. Get back, grunt. Wrinkling. Man, I wish you could roll in this game in the uh, third one. Oh, shit. I saw a salvage thing. Where's it at? There we go. Conductor components. It's pretty steep. I'd be scared to fucking slip right off. What are y'all doing up there? Looking down was clearly a mistake. They've seen us. All right, let's get our scimitar. Oh my god! Okay, give me inferno ammo. I love the shotgun. The eviscerator's cool, high damage, good range. But scimitar's got okay range. Really fucking high rate of fire and decent damage. I love it. This ship is incredible. It must have taken decades to build in secret. I wonder what happened to the contractors. I think we can guess. Navigating this storm is brutal. If the ship's engines stop, even for a moment, at least the Shadow Broker would go down with us. That's comforting. That's cool looking. Alright, we can now afford heavy muscle weave. Let's keep going. More mechs? Nah. Alright, back up onto the spine of the ship. Light him up. And 
damn, that had to hurt. Just glad they don't have those heavy missile launchers like the Blue Sun. Blue Sun's uh, heavies carry. Those damn things stagger you and they fire like two or three at a time. Alright. Keep going. Whoa. Hello. And over. More contacts. Mm, yeah, hit her with a warp. I feel like the Maddox, the like round that it fires, is equivalent to like a 308. So man, just getting like rapid fire 308s to your chest repeatedly. If it didn't kill you, it'd break your fucking ribs. Probably cause some internal bleeding. Drop down. Liawa. Whoa. Oh my god. All right, let's get our shotgun out. Bye-bye. They've got heavy. This lightning rod is on a rail. Do you see a switch? I see a switch. Cross this damn bridge and get inside this ship. Not even a guardrail. I bet the broker's agents love patrolling the hull. At least the view is nice. No. Oh yeah. There. That hatch leads directly to the communication signals. It's locked. Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. Take. I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one, anyway. Huh. Feel the flood rage! Where are they at? Sure that shot is working? It's illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them. No, you tested it. No time to talk. No time to talk. Any more? Uh, I'm sure it won't be much longer. Remember 
the old days when you could just slap Omni Gel on everything? That security upgrade made a lot of people unhappy. Look out, more on the way. Light him up. Ah, I shocked myself. Front of the ship. They've seen it. Oh wait, that's the front. Such a narrow profile to hit. Hey, all right, back on your feet. My shields are down. One more, one more. Well, they're actually pretty easy to shoot with this gun. <laughs> when they're not moving. Right in your damn face. Hit him, Grunt. God. Yeah, there's never not a lot of mercs to deal with. What's going on? <laughs> oh great, they got fucking drones too. Else want a tango? Let's get going. Oh, great. Your helmet's so funny. I love how his helmet, when he talks, it's got like a little mouth that moves. Cover. They've seen it. Now of that, how many guards do the shadow worker have? Don't. I gotta take that damn missile out. There we go. Alright, let's move up. Barriers on. Plus, another reason I switched controller is I can pull a trigger a lot faster than I can click a mouse button. For some reason. Any stuff down here? Just data monitoring equipment. Alright, let's switch up. I've downloaded the ship's layout. We're headed toward the prison block. 
and Farron. Come on. Take it. We done? All right, let's get in this door. There's your boy. trying to do to you the equipment is sensitive to tampering this chair plugs into the broker's info network you have to shut off the power pull me out now and my brain cooks do you know where we can cut the power it won't be easy you'll have to go to central operations what's the point of this cage i don't know it's a neural grounding rod the medical equipment is to make sure he doesn't expire we have to shut this place down. Where did the broker get the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. Ah, ah, ah. Shepard, we really don't have the time. <laughs> what do you know about the broker? He did this to me. I was hoping you'd know what he is. I never got a good look, but he's big. The guards are terrified of him. A Krogan? I don't know. But not everyone who visits his office comes back out. Easy or not, we're all getting out of here. Good. Central Operations is down the hall. You know the Shadow Broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. I want all to use Har har. I can't believe you came. You better believe it. I always come. Watch right! Oh, that's gross. Fuck! I couldn't press the barrier and quickly. I can shoot my scimitar faster. Come on, come on, put your head around the corner. Or don't, just get beat to death. Alright, grab some ammo. Here we are. Showtime. <laughs> Big fella. I don't have a Carnifex. You're from the drone. Not reckless, just determined. Ask your Asari Spectre about that. Vasir was expendable. All her death cost me was time. Expendable like Farron? Dr. Tassoni, your interference caused all this. Farron betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The Drell is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Your arrival is convenient. The Collector's offer still stands. 
It'll be pretty hard to run a base this size with no crew. They're replaceable. Your arrival is barely an interruption. Enough talk. My operations are too crucial to be compromised by a traitor. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. Thank you for bringing me Okir's project to Sony. His dissection will be interesting. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg, a pre-space flight species quarantined to their homeworld from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery, which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? Oh, big fella. Grunt. It's like a tuxedo. It's just one hand thing a revenant, like it's nothing. I think Vasir is harder than him. <laughs> the shield's kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Hit him now. I don't see how Shepard could pack the force to like knock his head back with a punch. Omni shield. Light him up, Liara. And right in your face. If you can get him to bring up that shield again, I've got an idea. Hmm. Well, don't just yell out your, uh, plan, Liara. You're done. through your teeth <laughs> grunt my son
Boy, he was ready to get out of that fucking chair. Standard procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next solar day. Shadow Broker, out. Goddess of Oceans, it's you. You. How? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead. So. You're the new Shadow Broker. Ho -ho. Taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll check the power systems. Yeah, that's right. Give us some privacy, bro. here I could use you on the Normandy I have to stay here we can't pass this up Shepard all I wanted was to rescue Farron but is it wrong that part of me wants this with the Shadow Brokers network I can help you maybe I can turn this operation into something better don't be a stranger this time small chance of that come back soon All right, and now Liara is the Shadow Broker. Now we got some stuff to mess around with on the the ship, the Shadow Broker ship itself. Shepard's defeated the Shadow Broker. Eliminate Cerberus information leaks as Liara to Sony takes over. The Asari relationship with Shepard should be watched closely. Fuck you. You ain't watching shit. 93,000. Wow. Shepard, it's so good to see you. I've set up a few terminals with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a I home. love the drone glyph. Alright. Investment opportunities. 
pirate fleet is massing on the fringes of the Terminus systems in preparation for a raid on outlying Alliance colonies. Send a tip off to Admiral Hackett about the upcoming invasion. Can do. Bureaucracy in action. The CERTA Foundation can't start tests on a promising new antibiotic because of accidentally misfiled paperwork. Use your contacts to help them cut through the red tape so they can begin clinical trials. Smear campaign. A corrupt politician is trying to levy heavy taxes on all earth manufactured goods coming into his system in exchange for kickbacks from local businesses. Ruin the politician's reputation with the smear campaign so that his proposal doesn't pass. Eclipse Mercs have secretly set up a red sand production facility on the planet Cuervo. Tip off the planetary authorities about the facility in exchange for half the credits seized during the raid. Very cool. One moment. Okay, we're back. Had to uh, feed my dogs. And then I dosed up while I was at it. I was getting pretty sleepy. Dossier is all my favorite. Alright, Miranda Lawson. Cerberus officer, efficient, ruthless, obsessed with human dominance, possible recruitment candidate after elusive man's assassination and destruction of Cerberus. What? <laughs> the extranet activity. Uh, image results for Shepard Sarah Inspector. New summary for Eldfell Ashland Energy. Subscription activated after dark fashions. Biotech research quarterly. Vid book purchase. Men are from Omega. Women are from Ilium. Hmm. Excerpt from chat. Username Oriana L. User M Laws. <laughs> hey. Um, is that you? Yes, don't worry. I've made sure everything is secure. Secure, right. Yeah, good call. How are you settling in? Good, the house is huge. Seems so big for me. How are your studies going? Great, I still don't like genetic theory, but I want to understand everything, you know? Physics and math all seem to breeze by. Your mark in late 20th century Earth history below the standard deviation. Did you want me... To hire a tutor for you? History? No, it's okay. Just not interested, I guess. Ori. What? Fine. Yes, okay. There's a boy in there. Danner. Danner Gazima? Yes, how did you know that? It doesn't matter. His family owns a series of restaurants on the Citadel. Good academic uh, record. Interested in sports. Broke his leg when he was 14. Um, sure, he's always asking questions in class. I don't think he even knows I'm alive. I see. How do I, you know, get him to notice? Getting him to notice? Yes, I can help with that. Please. Yes, boys. You must be sure to always be true to yourself. I know that sounds like silly advice, but if he isn't interested in the real you, he won't be interested. You have to trust. Fuck. One moment. All right, we are back. So, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. you have to trust when things are right. He will notice you, and he will appreciate what you are both inside and out. You can't make yourself into something you're not. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. 300 crunches, 250 side crunches per side, 300 squat thrusts, 250 leg lifts, 125 weighted leg lifts, 600 half sit-ups. <laughs> Alright. Let's check out some of these other terminals. Advanced training, no, don't need that. Delivery, platinum. Ship model. Uh, no, I don't want that. 
crist critical, critical. <laughs> Sometimes deal double damage. Normandy scientists have prototyped a modification to the traditional smart targeting module, commonly incorporated into high-end weaponry. While this tech is commonly used to compensate for wind and recoil, it was adapted to slightly deflect rounds to strike a more vital part of the enemy. Alright, uh, shoot. Get the extra rounds upgrade. Now let's look at our armor. Stick with the Aegis vest. Asymmetric defense layer. That's cool. Hmm. Offhand ammo pack. Get the life support webbing. All right, Galloway Glyph. Let's see what we got here. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Aria Talok, Omega. Lighten them up. Emily Wong, Citadel. Yeah, get down with it, Emily. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Yeah, you gotta bump yourself up sometimes. Donnell Udina, Citadel. Hey, bro, take it easy there. Armando Bailey, Citadel. Just need a quiet moment. David Anderson, Citadel. Praetor Gavon, Omega. Well, that seemed like overkill. <laughs> Never old. Keeper twenty, Citadel. It's a badass keeper. Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. Why does the bartender have a picture of my Liara? Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. Fucking a. Ah, what an asshole. Jacob Taylor, Normandy, SR2. Oh man, I bet Kasumi go crazy for this. Subject zero. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. I wish she could actually fight like that. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Liara. Check for more videos on your next visit. All right. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. At least I get to share it with you. 
You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Well, you can always move. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. Then why make a fucking he deal with the collectors? The collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How do you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron? Are just friends. I believe you made it clear that I was, as you humans say, taken. Damn straight. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about data. Look, about the kiss. We just finished the fight. Halo 3. I miss you, but it's been two years. I don't want to put pressure on you. I've got fond memories of the last time you put pressure on me. <laughs> so do I. Why don't you come to the Normandy for drinks? I'd like that. Good. Get your things and come on up. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. See you later. Here we go. Got us a date. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes. It's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although... He did ask me to record any parts of our conversation where my eyes do that freaky black eternity thing. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chakwas. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. You can't get back everything you lose, but sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, that was the plan. How are you actually doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. Done more than there anyone. There would be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them? 
And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. If this all ends tomorrow, what happens to us? I don't know. Marriage, old age, and a lot of little blue children. You just say these things. <laughs> Goddess, you were dead. I got better. I got better. I love when he says that. This time. But you're going to leave again. When your team is ready, you'll leap through the Omega-4 relay. I spent two years mourning you. So if we're going to try this, I need to know you're always coming back. I don't know. It's a pretty big promise to make. Oh, is it? I'd have to have something special to come back to. <laughs> I'm open to suggestions. How about this? What do you do? <laughs> It's a goofy hug. Thank you, Shepard, for the drinks and everything. Come back soon, Liara. Liara. All right. That's my boy, Shepard. I think he got it in. <laughs> Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, yeah. From Detective Anaya. Greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real quiet around here, and my superiors have backed off, too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet at Justicar, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Thanks. Detective Anaya, Ilium Law Enforcement. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Samara would like to... Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Samara. She got the data. <laughs> I'm glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morinth suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. 
Some cultures worship them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morith. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. <laughs> we'll go find Morinth. Alright. Uh, let's chat up Miranda. See if we got any new uh, conversations. Commander, what you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. I saw your faces years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian creepers, even husks to make your own army. The husks were already dead. The Thorian creatures were mindless, and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. 
We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? I wouldn't want to fight alongside Rachni soldiers. They creep me the fuck out even if they're fighting with me. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks Group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. What? You disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. You're... Well, look at you. A spacer kid, educated with on-ship tutorials, no strong foundation for stability. Big ol' butt. And you've done more than I could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're... You're the best humanity has to offer. You always bring up your genetic tailor. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. I can't admire your body or your mind? You give your father too much credit. Yeah, he gave you gifts. But you can be proud of what you've done with them. Oh. Thank you. And perhaps I wouldn't mind if you admired my body. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. We need to stay professional. Keep our focus. Yes, you're right. This is too important for anything to cause friction. Thank you for coming by, Commander. Shot down. In a blaze of glory, I stay faithful to my my girl Liara. No, no ifs, ands, or buts. But alrighty, everyone, we are gonna call it there. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. And if you did so, please be sure to like and subscribe for more future Mass Effect content. And I will see y'all next time. Y'all take it easy. Bye.